Hello, my name is Greg, and I'm here to address the contentious issue in the amateur astronomy world of whether or not the C-14 is a small portable scope. There are many of you out there, and I don't want to say that you're girly men, but there are many of you out there who say, Oh, the C-14, mm -hmm. that's too mm -hmm. big and too heavy, I can't set it up. What could I do? Well, they say, maybe I should get myself a little refractor. That's so easy to use. And then, of course, there are people who want to use Newtonians. And this looks to be a very imposing manly man telescope. It will barely fit inside this Corolla, and yet it has a measly 10 inches of aperture. So what I would like to do is introduce to you the C-14 as a portable scope. Here it is. That's where it rides. Okay. <laughs> now, <clears throat> I want you to know that this is the eighth take I've done of this today, of this film. So what I'm about to do is we're going to go over to those two mounts over there, the black Lasmondi G11 and the white Astrophysics 900 and I am going to demonstrate to you how to load the C14 onto these two mounts. And you can see that I'm just an ordinary guy. I'm not Arnold, okay? So, now. We take the safety belt off. We bring the scope out. We'll do the astrophysics first. This is the dovetail. The dovetail will tip in from the side. This is a Cassidy saddle. This is one of our design alternatives. Here we go, girly men. Ha! There you have it. It's a small, portable scope. Look at that. It's tiny. Okay, now we are going to dismount the scope. And mind you, you only have to do this once in an evening. And this is take eight. Uh-oh, I just lost my... I just lost a part. There we go. This is to uh, a far point device for moisture control. All right, now, on the Lasmondi G11, we have two options. We can come in from the top, or we can come in from the bottom. In order to do that, I'm gonna have to remove these safety screws, which really allow you to go one way or the other, but for the purposes of this demo, I will remove both. Here we go. By the way, this is a beautiful Burlbach wooden tripod sold only by Teton Telescopes in the United States. Okay, here we go. This is the mounting from the top. Once it's threaded, you're in. And the scope is secure. It's a tough, it's a tough hoist. You've got to get a dovetail right into the top here. But it can be done. And it can be done after you've already done it on the other mount. Okay, we'll take this down. Now what I just did was the top mounting technique, which is actually my preferred technique to come down this way. It's been many years since I've done this technique, 
or you come up from the bottom. And I guess I don't do it because it tends to put a lot of forward pressure on the mount. Um, but let's see how that works out. <laughs> Now we did get some on the tripod, the leg shortened a little bit under the pressure. So um, this may not be the preferred technique for this tripod. Osmondi tripod is a different design. Anyhow, here you have it. We've done it three times and I think take eight is almost over and I'm barely breaking a sweat here. All right, now when you're done for the night, you loosen it up. And you're done. And so I say to you that the C14 is a lightweight, portable, one-person scope capable of being transported in a small automobile. That's it.